Peace. Jamal Robinson with 720astrology.com. Today's date is January 20th, 2024. And the big feature of today is the fact that Pluto and the Sun are now dancing together at 29 degrees of Capricorn. 29 is what's referred to as the anoretic degree. It's a degree of change because it's the last degree of the sign. So what is unique about this time, and I don't know when this has ever happened in the past, I know it's been at least, at least 800 years since this has happened, where the sun and Pluto meet up at 29 degrees of Capricorn. And then the next day, they both move to zero degrees of Aquarius. That's one reason that this is a monumental time to be alive. I wanna talk about though some of the ways that this can impact us on an individual level by first giving a background for Pluto. Pluto in mythology is one of the three brothers who are himself Pluto or also Hades in Greek mythology, Neptune or Poseidon and, and Zeus. Now, Zeus and Neptune are womanizers. Pluto is not very swift with the ladies, with the opposite sex. Pluto then becomes, for one, the archetype of obsession. He acts out his archetype in how he acquires, and that's the key word, he acquires his wife, Persephone, by force. He goes up and kidnaps her. That's how he gets with his woman, took her. So there we see the archetype of obsession and extreme compulsion. Through that also shows us the deep hidden desires that we may not want to acknowledge, but they are there. And that leads us to its significance in its conjunction with the sun, because the sun is the primary life giver. The sun represents vitality. The sun represents the will. W-I-L-L, -L, will. The sun also is a luminary, the chief luminary in our solar system. So whatever it touches, it shines a light on. So when the sun and Pluto are conjunct or together at the same degree, the sun is shining a light on our deep hidden desires. And whenever we use the words deep and hidden, we're now talking about the subconscious mind because Pluto is the ruler of the underworld. Neptune has rule over the water. Zeus rules Olympus. Uranus rules the sky. Pluto is most significant for us because he rules the underworld, which would also be the under earth. And we don't live in water. We don't live in the sky. We don't live on Mount Olympus. If you take on a human form, you live on Earth. So it's the faculties of Pluto that become the most intense here in this experience. In the mythology, he wears a helmet, which makes him have the powers of darkness, but it also renders him sightless. So there's an aspect of Pluto that connects with the Gnostic character, Aldabaoth, which that name means blind, the blind one. So our subconscious mind functions like the description of Pluto. It blindly moves. The conscious mind is the part of our mind that moves through sight. And I'm not talking about just the sight of the eyes, but it's the aspect of our mind that we can see, we can observe more easily. But the subconscious is blind because it sits hidden and drives us and we don't often know why we do the things we do why we attract the experiences we attract why do we play these same cycles out over and over and it's because of plutonian partly hidden faculties the blind one meaning it moves in darkness and the, the blindness is also it's not easy for us to see 
we have to go and dig because it's hidden beneath the earth. The sun, again, is the chief luminary in this sun system or solar system we live in. So when the sun and Pluto are, the, Pluto are together, we're having the light shine on deep recesses of us. And so if there's a heaviness that you're feeling right now, be open to what is it that you're seeing in yourself that you might not easily acknowledge. And whatever the pain and the emotional displeasure that might be rising up. Ultimately, allow it to be your teacher. Allow it to be your guide because the sun and Pluto move together into Aquarius. Tomorrow, they move us into a future that is not far off, but is here right now. Because Aquarius is a sign of the future. Capricorn is the sign of what has been and what has been the foundation. Some to ponder, Jamal Robinson, 720astrology.com. Peace.